Hey, this is Josh Van Gadget, and uh, I'm at the Motorola booth, and we're playing around with the Atrix, which you guys have already seen. Miriam did an awesome video on it, but we I wanted to take another look at it. I know everybody's been asking about it and wants to know more information, so we thought we'd give it another whirl. So, obviously, you guys know the device. Super fast, a gig of DDR2 RAM, uh, and, of course, the big story, Android 2.2, which, you know, should be 2.3, but we're not going to complain about that too much. So, the phone itself is actually super fast, high-resolution display. What's the resolution on the display? QHD is 540 by 960. 540 by 960. So super high res display. Text looks awesome on it. Uh, in fact, I had uh, Gmail open. I don't know where it is. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Um, and I mean, can you hold it down on here just to keep yeah, it still? Yeah. Sure. And uh, you can see the text looks. It's super high resolution. It looks really crisp. And uh, just as a phone, as a, as a as a Android device. Let me put it next to the iPhone. It's almost as thin, it's a little bit bigger, but the extra screen real estate is super helpful. So, the big story about the Atrix, though, is not that it's a great Android phone, though it does seem like a pretty great Android phone. Uh, the big story is that you can take it and you can dock it. Uh, it has a desktop dock, it has a laptop dock, which is actually basically a laptop with no guts. And then it's got a home entertainment dock over here. So. I just want to run through it a little bit because it's kind of an amazing. I, I think I think these are the same dock, right? Are they? No, these are different. The uh, is, that, is this the same? These are different docks, no, they're right? The same dock. Are they exactly? So if I have this, I can use it on my TV. Yeah. If I want. And is that remote optional? Or is it the remote comes with the dock? I don't know. How we're back. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So, so, so there's a home entertainment remote. So. So we're going to take a look at, at docking it in a couple of different scenarios. The first one is docking it on a, des in a desktop scenario. You've got a mouse, keyboard, it all plugs into this dock. And what this does is it boots it to a web top environment, which is essentially, um, well, it is Linux. And uh, hold on, we're watching a trailer here. So as you can see, it does flash. You can play Hulu videos. It's a little bit choppy and full screen. Um, but uh, we haven't done extensive testing with it, so we'll have to take a look. But you could be quick play? Yeah, but it looks pretty smooth on just the end of the trailer. Let's bring it back. Oh, great. No, no, no. Hold on, let's watch this trailer. We'll edit this, it's going to seem a lot more awesome yeah. when we have it up on the Oh, a pin app. Great. Here we go. So the Screen Lantern trailer, we, we uh, had this buffer before, and uh, in this mode it plays pretty nicely. And so this is just a clock right now? Yeah. So in case you're wondering if you can do full web browsing, this does flash perfectly. Uh, I think it's it's real Firefox. It's a full screen. It's a little choppier in full screen. Uh, not unwatchable, but it would annoy me. But uh, anyhow. So let's take a look at a couple other things. Let's let's pause this. So I want to show some of the other docking stuff. So let's try to download Chrome, which does not work in case you're wondering. You could not download Chrome and run it on here. But so besides the the browser view that you get, uh, let me close this. Besides the browser view you get, you get what is basically the view of your phone. And uh, you have your, I mean, basically it's the phone on your screen. It does everything that the device does in a separate window. You can scale it a little bit. Uh, let me get to the apps here. Hold on. Where is the, uh, there we go. So you've got all your apps here, and you can run them as you'd run any app on the device. You can open up Maps and flip the phone. And it works just as you expect it to work in this small window. So it's pretty awesome technology. I mean, just to be able to do this, you can open up Gmail. Obviously, if you've got a web browser, you're probably just going to use the web browser Gmail. But uh, so you can you also alt, you can alt, alt tab through things, right? Yeah, you can. Alt, it has alt tabbing, so you can. Uh, actually, it's not doing it right now. Oh, there we go. So it has a, a switcher. So it switch through your uh, windows. You can obviously have more browser windows open. Um, but uh, and the notifications. And right? it does notifications. And if you double click on these guys, it will take you right into the notification that you got. Here's an email. This is a. Uh, Give me a prompt here, which I don't actually need. So that's the desktop part, and I want to do something, but we're going to go to the next to the laptop thing. I want to start, I'm going to start loading Engadget here. And by the way, this is on HSDPA, which is loading really fast. This is a 4G, 4G device, and it doesn't be loading fast. So you can pick it up, 
uh, it pauses the loading, and then we bring it over here to uh, this laptop, which is actually a really nice looking, really beautiful it's looking. Can you close it again? It's really thin. Yeah, extremely thin, really nice looking laptop. You can dock it back here. Am I in your shot? Hold on. You gotta line these up. So you dock it back here, and by the way, it doesn't fall out or anything, which is pretty great. Uh, open it up. This is, and this to me is kind of amazing. A little bit of a dream of mine. Starting the web top uh, environment again, and here you see the page that we are loading up. It looks like it finished loading while you were moving over here. Yeah, uh, it's oh, still, still loading uh, something. But uh, yeah, it is still loading. It's happening. Uh, yeah, it's still loading up. So it's taking a minute here. And obviously we've got this sprint ad, which is a little bit processor intensive, even on my MacBook Pro. Uh, let's get this full screen. But we love Sprint. We but we love cool. Sprint, yeah. So it's done loading. You can see here there's a mouse. Uh, that's better. So the, the key, I think you need to set the scrolling here to be a little bit faster, but we broken it? Okay, good. Um, so it's not super fast browsing, but it's, it's definitely usable. And we got the Patreon loading up. We have that Green Lantern trailer still happening over here, uh, obviously. So totally continuous. Then, oh, can you show a neutral speed? Oh, yes. The other thing that's cool about this is that if you're running, let me close these. Uh, if you're running a game that uses the accelerometer, which we're going to see in a second here, hang on. Uh, like Need for Speed, for instance, this is really cool. Where are you? Okay. So you load up Need for Speed, you can make it full screen. And the Android apps, like something that's like this, it's processor intensive. It's not the smoothest thing, but it's pretty smooth. But it's full, because it's scaling. Because it's scaling it, yeah, to a, to a well, uh, it's scaling up to the size of this screen. So let's do a quick raise here. And uh, say yes to that. And it actually, you can still utilize the accelerometer to raise here. Check it out. Is that better? Yeah. So it's actually pretty smooth. And the accelerometer in the phone or in the in so that's in the phone. Let's close Need for Speed. I'll switch back down. Now there's one other thing to look at. So uh, the the last thing to look at is the home entertainment dock, which is apparently the same dock as the uh, desktop. Pull it out, put it in here, obviously. Now this has a remote. There's a couple of cool things. First off, you can get uh, you can just do content that you have on here, there's, there's a remote on this device, and then they, they also have a remote and, and an environment here, which is a, uh, a music player, pictures, video, just home entertainment. It's basically, they're a home entertainment environment. Uh, you can flip through this stuff, see if they have any videos on here. Here we go. And this plays back in HD. Actually, looks really nice. We're assuming 720. Uh, I believe that's what it is right now. But it looks really great. So you can dock this and use the remote if you have a bunch of content stored on there. You can use it as you would any media player. But uh, what's really cool about this is you can jump into WebTop. You can go back into that environment that you were in over here with the monitor. And this becomes, the phone itself becomes a touchpad uh, that you can use in the WebTop environment. And not only does it become a touchpad with left and right mouse buttons, but it also, you can also utilize the Android keyboard to type in uh, anything you might need to type it's in. It's like almost like a Google TV remote. It's almost like a Google TV remote. Let's get this into some area where we can type. And uh, you can pop the keyboard here. You can. There you go. And you can type if you want to. I don't know what that site is that we're going to. Anyhow, it's pretty cool. I have to say, definitely one of the uh, crazier products we've seen on the floor. Let's look at the Atrix. Another look at the Atrix. And uh, this is when it's available. This quarter, so the very specific date, and it's going to be priced at a lot of money. Probably a thousand dollars. Probably five thousand dollars. Would you say less than five thousand? Less than five thousand dollars. So uh, that's look at the Atrix.